Minecraft Live 2021 is almost here. And in this Minecraft Live, we're most likely going to be talking about the upcoming update 1.18, aka Caves and Cliffs Part 2. We're also going to learn about the future of Minecraft and what the main theme will be for 1.19, the next update after, well, 1.18. But as has come to be tradition for Minecraft Live, this year we have yet another Minecraft mob vote in which we will vote between three new mobs that we would like to be added into Minecraft in the next update. 2020's Minecraft mob vote had us vote between the Moo Bloom, the Isolager, and the Glow Squid, in which our dreams were shattered because I'm pretty sure most of us wanted the Isolager, but the Glow Squid ended up winning. But as last year's mob vote had us pick between three different mobs that already existed in other Minecraft games, and were also kind of variants of mobs that already existed in Minecraft itself, this year's mob vote we have to pick between three new original mobs, the Glare, the Allay, and the Copper Golem. Now just with that, I believe that the choices that Mojang has given us this year is way better than the choices they gave us last year, as each of these mobs has their own individual purpose, and they're all pretty unique and pretty original. The glare for me seems to be some kind of flying creature that has completely covered itself in vegetation, and it does not like the darkness as it gets grumpy whenever it's in a dark space that mobs could spawn. This feature is intended to notify players if they are in a dark space where mobs can spawn, so that maybe they can light it up with light sources. This feature may sound pretty useful, especially in Bedrock Edition where you don't have the F3 screen and you can't check light levels, but if you do know the upcoming 1.18 update, you know that they are going to change the way mobs spawn so that mobs will only spawn in light level 0 in complete darkness, so it will actually be very easy to tell where mobs will spawn and where mobs won't spawn. So that kind of negates the purpose of this glare mob. It's a cute mob with a nice design, but its intended purpose is kind of useless, especially compared to the other two mobs that we have to choose from. The second mob we have to choose from is the LA, which seems to be a cute, vex-like creature, which is very interesting as it is a friendly mob. It's small, flies around, and it likes music, as if you play note blocks, it'll actually dance. Also, an interesting feature it has is if you give it an item, Item, it'll actually go out and it will gather more of that item for you because of its love of music bringing the item back to any note blocks that you have placed now people have kind of misunderstood this feature and that is partially because of the vagueness of the trailer itself but i feel like it is important to specify that the la does not just go out into the world and then bring you more of the item just out of nowhere just created from thin air as many people have assumed brandon aka king b dogs a minecraft developer on twitter has stated that the la is not an item duplication method it will only pick up items that are already on the floor in your world as entities it will not go into chests it will not just go out and bring you more of an item out of thin air it will just bring you items that are on the floor. It is way more limited than people have assumed, but I'm sure it could also still be used for many useful purposes. I'm sure if the LA is added to Minecraft that the great redstone engineers will figure out how to use the LA to specifically pick items you need from the floor and put it into chests to be used to create a really interesting and fun automatic item sorting system using the LA mob, which makes it a good candidate for being chosen to be added into the game. The third and final choice that we have for this year's Minecraft mob vote is the Copper Golem. This mob has a very similar design to the Iron Golem, though it is very small, made of copper, and it's rocking a little lightning rod on its head. And similar to the other golems of Minecraft, the Iron Golem and the Snow Golem, you can build this mob yourself. This little golem has a love for pushing copper buttons, which if he is chosen for this mob vote, will also be added into the game. Now, as you may know, copper in Minecraft, and well in real life, oxidizes over time and grows green, blue, teal, and the copper golem, and I assume the copper buttons as well, are no exception to this rule, as the copper golem will also oxidize over time, and if he oxidizes all the way, he will eventually turn into a copper golem statue, unable to move around and function at all. 
Now you may think that this just makes the copper golem useless as it is stuck on a time limit and will just end up turning into a statue at any time. So if you get attached to a copper golem, for example, you'd be like, oh, my little buddy, Bob, the golem, no, he's a statue, <laughs> just like... Deltarune spoilers. But you must remember that copper blocks themselves also have a way of preventing oxidization with wax, which I don't know if that could be applied to a moving living entity, but it has been confirmed by Olraf, another Minecraft developer on Twitter, that similar to copper blocks, you will be able to right click on the copper golem with an ax and remove stages of oxiditis oxidization. And Olraf also stated that that lightning rod on top of his head is not just for show. It can actually be hit by lightning and also similar to copper blocks. When hit by lightning, it will also remove oxidization as well. So your little copper buddy is going to be just fine. But you could also look at the feature of it turning into a statue as a good thing, as you could possibly use the copper golem statues to decorate your world. So with the copper buttons, assuming it has oxidization stages, and the copper golem having its own oxidization stages including the copper golem statue also the fact that having a mob that can automatically push buttons for you would be really interesting for redstone contraptions especially redstone randomizers and the fact that this gives copper more of a use in minecraft as copper doesn't really have many uses as of now besides the spyglass and building even if your copper golem turned into a statue and you couldn't unoxidize it for some reason you would still have a bunch of copper because copper is a pretty abundant resource in the game. Not only are you able to find copper pretty easily in your world, and even easier in dripstone caves as they spawn more in dripstone caves, but you can even farm it infinitely from drowned farms. All of this for me definitely makes the copper golem a great contender to be added into Minecraft. So with the cute, grumpy, but kinda useless glare, the really fun, dancing, music loving, item bringing LA, and the decorative little oxidizing button pusher, the copper golem we have three unique mobs that might be added to Minecraft. Though the glare is not a bad choice, its unusefulness will probably make it not very voted for in this Saturday's upcoming Minecraft mob vote. I foresee a pretty close vote between the Alay and the Copper Golem, because they are both really good choices and I would honestly be happy with either one. But the Alay only picks up items off of the floor, not just goes and collects you items like everyone thinks it does, which is probably why a lot of people are going to vote for it. The LA has the advantage of being cuter, as it is a flying little mob that dances and it just seems really likable. The Copper Golem, however, while still cute, is not as cute as the LA but I feel like its usefulness surpasses the LA's usefulness in its ability to press buttons which could have some really interesting uses for the redstone community. Plus the fact that not only can you build them itself, it gives copper more uses, but a lot of people have wanted Mojang to add a new golem to the game for a long time, and this gives Mojang the opportunity to finally add a new golem. I feel like out of all three mobs that I just talked about, or even just compared to the LA, the copper golem has the most features and is the most useful out of all of them. So the original version of this video had me talking about and saying that I would vote for the copper golem for the Minecraft mob vote. But then I thought about it a bit more as I was editing the video, and now when I think about it, the copper golem can press buttons, and that's really cool. But I've realized that having a mob that literally can just pick up items for you and put it into a chest is way cooler than a mob that just pushes buttons. The Elaine is probably going to be my vote, in all honesty. I originally thought the copper golem had way more uses, and it does, honestly, it has the copper button, which is a new thing, it has a statue, everything, and copper golem is super cool, but I never really put much thought into the fact that the LA can literally just get items for you and pick them up and just put them down near a note block, so you can put a note block and then have a hopper next to the note block, and so the LA would drop the item into the hopper, so while you're like picking up items, you could have the like, imagine you're mining stone and you want to get all the stone, but your inventory's full. So you tell the LA to get the stone and, and have it drop off all the stone into a hopper into a chest. Now that I think about it, the LA would be awesome. I'm actually really excited for those possibilities and I hope the LA wins. <laughs> <laughs> Originally, this video was me saying that I hope the copper golem wins, but then I completely changed my mind while editing the video. 
<laughs> How great. If you agree or if you disagree, then let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear your opinions. But with that, that is going to be the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, then remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you can get notified when I upload a new video. And if you like reaction videos, then make sure to check out my reactions channel. If you want to watch me, watch shows. And if you like memes, song mashups, and skits, then make sure to go check out my random channel. If you like Super Smash Brothers and you want to see my replays of me and my friends playing the game, then go check out Robot Nelson. Links for everything will be in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow for my reaction to Minecraft Live 2021. Goodbye!